Okay. How do you pronounce his Polish ass name? Kwasa? Yeah. Are we rolling? Yes. On both? Yes. Wow, look at you. You're efficient as fuck. Professional AF. It's on my business card. <laughs> Is it? Can I yeah, it's a very awkward conversation. I have a lot of high power people. <laughs> are, are, I, I know ASC stands for something, but what does AF does stand for? ASC? Yeah, like if you're a cameraman, I think it is. Oh, APSC. Did that too. <laughs> well, Dave. Oh, boy. That was Dinosaurus. It was Dinosaurus. Listen, I don't know what you're complaining about. I'm the guy who bought that movie. <laughs> I Here's the thing. I want a copy of this. <laughs> Do you? Yes. It was so... It was so bad. It, it was, really was. Which is kind of, I mean, I was... Which is why... I knew it would be fine. bad. I knew it would be bad. But I'm a fan of the original Blob. Like, I think it's a fun movie. And I realize it's elevated in part by the fact that Steve McQueen is in that movie. Yeah. Okay, but even then, I don't think an actor of any better caliber than anybody in this movie could have saved this movie from its terrible dialogue. No, <laughs> but but that's that's what is the craziest part of all of this is it could have been just another land unknown. It could have and very well uh, almost was another boring example of money and time wasted. I mean, they milked it better than... Um, have, have you seen uh, Beast of Hollow Mountain? Mm -mm. Um, there, there's an MST3, a new MST3K episode of Beast of Hollow Mountain. And the dinosaur action... I mean, we're talking about the title character. The, the Beast of the Hollow Mountain appears for probably a, a, a grand total of 30 seconds in that movie. This at least doesn't pull that trick right it does at least have the dinosaurs yeah yeah <laughs> but i don't like them right in comparison right if they were the only thing that drew my attention that dazzled the eye that moved the plot along yeah. fine i would cling to them like a drowning man to a log <laughs> what we have though is a something we have something that is thrown completely in i feel as an afterthought the caveman because we pull out the T-Rex, we pull out the uh, big brontosaurus, and we're like, okay, dinosaurs. And I think, okay, well, the caveman, he's going to show up, cause some shenanigans. And then goes on to thaw out and steal every scene he's Absolutely. in. Absolutely. And even scenes he's not in, because I'm thinking, where is the caveman? And worst of all, that, like, we see the, we see the villain crushed, so you know he's dead, even mm -hmm. though that was a total cop-out move. Right. As opposed to having him eaten by the dinosaur. Yeah, so we'll, but before, we don't before we see, get there, yeah. let's, let's back up right, just a right. little bit, okay. because this has, one of the things that you and I both love is set up and pay off. We get lots of times where we get things set up and pay off, so I expected the villain to die. I yeah. didn't expect how, that's up to whoever. Sure, sure. But... We're definitely, yeah, we were definitely setting up the bad guy at least one person to be somebody that you were happy to see killed right but but what they did was it was indiscriminate yeah this movie is much like the universe itself pointless <laughs> tragic and random oh so it was written by george rr martin <sighs> it, or who did i say steven seagal yeah yeah they, because all of our all of our characters are nonsense mm. You are and cliche. Given, and cliche. But it's 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 just a series of events that people are doing and I don't feel any urgency nor need. Right. But when the caveman shows up, he I, I know exactly what he is. And when he moves through the world as like, I'm just the caveman, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's so delightful. It's such a breath of fresh air where I, I thought I was gonna end this movie hating every molecule in Julio's <laughs> body. Or what's his name? Yeah, it was Julio. Julio. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to end the movie being like, kill him. Kill this kid. No, but it was impossible. a double act of Julio and Caveman. Yes, it was all right. <laughs> because they, he, he was not just that annoying throwaway character like in, was there a young kid in Guanji? Yes. 
So every time you see a young character, they're a throwaway. Yeah. They're there to be like, oh, so I, I, ha I know the information, and I'm, the, I'm or, essentially the audience. Right, right. Or from time to time to elevate a situation because the kid does shenanigans and gets into trouble. And, right. They're, right. They're a perfect um, agitator and, yeah. and window to us right, because right, right. they have to ask all the stupid questions. Right. And I thought, oh, God, not another one of these stupid kids. But... Then he teams up with the Brontosaurus, and I'm like, oh boy, another layer of cliche where we get to have a non-character interact with a character, and I'm supposed to feel something as a human? Sorry, not going to happen. And they double down, and Bring here comes Unga kid. Bunga. <laughs> Og is the man. They never gave him a name either. I know. They, why not a name? Just no. be like, hey, it's... This movie needed like Luke. three or four more passes at, yes. at drafts of the it script. Had that's what I love and hate about it so much, yeah. is it's got enough executed potential that yeah. you're like... It's like, it's so close. Well, it's not even that close, but oh, you were so close. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> eating uh, like a, just a long styrofoam rod, you're, right? you're munching away at it. Someone said you have like to do it. Like a pool noodle? Yeah, like, like a pool noodle. You're eating a pool noodle and you're like, ugh. But every <laughs> once in a while... There's like a Tootsie Roll somewhere in the pool noodle. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. That's, and it, it oh, takes, no, it's bad. Yeah, it, uh. takes, it takes a miserable experience, brightens it, lightens it, and transforms it, and then drops your ass back into yeah. eating that pool noodle. It's true. And then the worst part is, since there are no uh, scruples in the director and or writer, all of our favorite characters die. Yep. I was willing to accept the Brontosaurus dying. I was sad about it. Mm. I was willing, and that bitch dies twice. Yeah, that was awful. Oh, and so then heartbreaking. And then on top of that, we don't unless unless we're still waiting for me to bring this up. We don't no, get the payoff. Be, yeah. of the resurrection of the caveman that we didn't even see die off screen. Like like you just kind yeah. of yeah something falls it on him a, and you're like oh, it was oh he's gonna be he's gonna be all right. Oh, it was a massive pileup of. Set up that all paid off in ways you hated. Right. Because early on, and it, they say, don't go there, quicksand. So I think, <laughs> aha, an evil guy's going to get quicksand because our, our good guys are avoiding it. No, it kicks you in the dick and they throw the brontosaurus in it. A good guy. <laughs> then we get the caveman who's been nothing but a cave gentleman. For the most part. And I mean, he does try and look up her skirt. Right. I mean, <laughs> within reason. He's still a beast. A beast of a different time, but still gentlemanly. Mm. And, you know, they just, he dies. Everybody's just like, every, if you were white bread, you were safe. If you were interested. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. Yeah, every oh. white bread character stayed. Wow. Julio. Uh, no, he gets a pass because he's hanging out with the white boys. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that's the thing. He's, he's lumped in. He yeah. stays with Ward. He stays with white lady. He stays with native lady who is white lady with black hair. <laughs> It's like it, the only way to survive this movie was to be completely uninteresting. None of the actual islanders get a line. No. Which I don't is, even think, because most of it looks like stock footage. But whatever, the, the technique they're using, I'm sure they were there. But you right. have to watch it to understand what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. It, it's, it's, it's constant complaints about this or that that don't make any sense. Yeah. It's warnings that go unheeded. It's an obvious escape plan that is given that is not taken. And all the while, you're like, please bring back the caveman. <laughs> Even, and here's the thing, you don't know, but I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. I wanna remake this movie. It's so great. <laughs> and the kid, just the, okay, I'm gonna tell you a scene that should have told me that we were gonna be fine as mm. far as the caveman was concerned. When our Spanish French pit boss runs out and finds our caveman covered in Spanish moss, and he's like, aha, hey. I'm gonna, this guy's mine. And he's pulling him <laughs> to, to behind a bush. He is doing his best as an actor to pantomime being frozen, but you can't. No, no, he moves. Being frozen. <laughs> so it's this one guy yanking up a loop, and then he throws bushes on him. And I thought that was a hilarious scene <laughs> in an otherwise deadpan and arid movie. Yeah. And... It's only a morsel that leads you onto this beautiful vein of gold in a mountain of shit. Yeah. Yeah, would, okay, so concept. 2021, you and I just randomly have a million dollars and somehow have access to remaking dinosaurs. 100%. Do we make it a, the straight family comedy? 
as was inferred in some of the caveman zines? I don't or do we make this family. or do we right? Or do we make this a badass where at one point we finally see caveman go ape shit with a fucking axe, carving his way through the villains just to get to the girl? Okay, <laughs> that's rough. That's I know because I do because what you're saying is classic. Because there was all this setup. Yeah. So you want classic camp and like the the hilarity of like what people thought humans acted like even though you could see them versus how they would act today. And they don't, nobody even even offers conjecture as to how these three characters ended up in the same block of ice, which by the way, you never see the you ice. You never see the ice. <laughs> here, here, here's what you do. To make this a perfect movie, I think I outlined a blueprint a couple of times during. Do those three perfect things that I told you during the screening. <laughs> Uh, get rid of literally everything else aside from the like. Keep the Brontosaurus. Keep the Tyrannosaurus. And keep the them, fight at keep the fight at the end so that everybody can yes. accuse you of ripping off aliens. Yes. Keep keep everything that isn't white dudes running from here to here or from here to here through fake plants. They had like a ten by ten set of jungle foliage, yes. and nobody had, nobody can run off of it. And even though I hated him, we got to keep Dumpy. Yeah, yeah, he needs a different name, though. Yeah. Yeah. Ch uh, Cook. Yeah, Skipper. Cookie! Yeah, hey, yeah, it's, yeah, the it's cook. Cookie! It's cookie, or he, he drove the tractor. Call him Crane, call him Tractor, do something. But Call him Detroit. Call him Detroit, you know, yeah, yeah. the old school idea Dutch. of like, naming him from where they're from. Yeah, yeah. Dutch. Call yeah. him Dutch. Do something. Dumpy. Yeah. But yeah, do that. We'll have the same sort of, like, bare bones expository setup. We find our dinosaurs evil French Spaniard finds the caveman and then just not worry about anything but the caveman, his hilarious entanglements, Pedro, Julio, Juan, all these characters running around interacting. We don't need, we don't need characters. We need funny stuff of, like I would watch an entire movie of that caveman and that boy in that house. Just about, just about. I definitely like. I take sixty I minutes. I definitely like the Ega scenes between the blonde and him because it actually gave the blonde like a couple of good yes. lines. I, that's what I'm, he. He's like, you know what it's, he's like. He is. He's the catalyst for everything yes. good in this movie. Have you seen Hellraiser? Yeah. So you know when he's coming back from the dead and he's all bones. Right. So he's just a skeleton running around, being like, "Oh man," the caveman comes in, throws flesh and skin on every bone he comes into contact with. <laughs> and that's why it's so weird. We have a movie that's a skeleton with one vein of humanity and skin running through it. Because every time he touches, like, let's say the foot is now a foot. It's no longer a skeletal foot. And he walks up the leg and up the chest. So it's like a weird, but the rest is all bare bones. Because all these plain ass dudes are being like, look over there. That's screen time. <laughs> I uh, know. And even then, it's, it was, what, 81 minutes? 83. Oh. It, it, God. That's the thing. You felt... Now, now, that being said, again, I feel like the ratio of visual effects attempts uh, to rest of screen time compared to some other cheap dinosaur movies, not bad. That's why I'm going to give this not... Th that's why it's not a five. It's if, a, it, if, it, <laughs> if it were as is, minus caveman, five, don't care, yeah. done. I'll never look at it again. <laughs> but when the caveman comes in, turns the woman into a character, mm. turns Julio into a character. Yeah, no shit. Basically brings a movie yeah. to the movie. I wonder oh, if that yeah. was who... <laughs> wouldn't it be great if it... I want to research this. It's like, who was Steve McQueen going to play? The main guy? No, he was going to play the caveman. Caveman. <laughs> That's who you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's what is the engine in this movie. <laughs> so... The best. And that's the uh, thing. But if before the caveman, it's a nice '55 Chevy with no engine. <laughs> it's nice to look at. I don't want to. Whatever. I, there's nothing you can do with it. You soup it up with that caveman. It is now second favorite. Wow, wow. I do love the 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 finale. I do. I was a fan. I mean, it wasn't like it was executed perfectly or anything. That wasn't the the worst T-Rex. Mm -mm. in a 1960s movie I've no. ever seen in my life. At least it's a puppet and not like a monitor lizard with a fin on it. Yeah. Versus a toy tractor. Even though it drags, everything pays off. True, true. Whether you like the payoff or not, it's like life. It's like actual real life. It will give you something. If you don't like it, tough shit. <laughs> but that's why I like it. It uh. doesn't make concessions. 
when it has to. The rest of the time, it's just like. <laughs> more, <laughs> more. Dude, let's end it there, because I got an idea for a final post-credit shot. Okay. okay. <laughs>